Angela again. It's lovely to be with you once more. And today I'm going to be talking about loving discipline. How we help children behave well by treating them well. Because we now know that if we shame children and hurt children to, to try and get them to do the right thing, it has a very negative effect. Because if we treat them harshly and if we shame them, they will grow up Sepse. learning to do that. So what are the goals of discipline? It's not just about making the children do what you want right now. So discipline is about raising children who are happy, emotionally well, can have healthy relationships. And people who are positive members of their families, their communities and their churches. And we also, want to, we also want to help them develop resilient characters that we talked about a couple of times ago. So what we do now to discipline children shapes them and their minds for the future. And when we discipline them warmly and lovingly and wisely, we create a better future for our world. Because when we discipline them kindly and lovingly, we create a kind and loving future. It starts with us. When you're on an airplane and they tell you how to use the oxygen mask, they say you must always put it on your face before you try and help your children. So the better we are balancing our own emotions, and when we are calmer and, and uh, more rested in ourselves, We've put our oxygen mask on and we can be better at disciplining. Uh, 
So the more we are in control of ourselves, the better we can help children control themselves. Same, uh, same shum kemi nën kontrol, uh, si e lien emocion tona, uh, ashtë më mirë mund të adimoj me fëmijet që ata të uh, ken nën kontrol si e lien dhe emocionet e tyre. And this here is a very important principle. The tu është shumë We never help children to behave better by making them feel worse. Ne kur nuk i dihmojmë fëmijët të silën më mirë, du t'i bërë ata të ndihen me keq. Because when a child feels good inside, they will behave well. Sepse kur fëmija për brenda ndihet mirë, ata a i do të dhe silët më mirë. But if they're feeling distressed and upset inside, it's really hard for them to manage their behavior. Por në qofse për brenda ndihen të shqetsua në si kletë, uh, I mërzidur me diqka, do jetë akom me vështirë për ata për të uh, si vullë mirë. They're a bit like icebergs. Uh, Femijet janë pata shumë si icebergët. And in every child there is a lot going on inside under the surface that we can't see. Në gjdo femi ka diqka uh, shumë që, që po ndodhë për brenda të tyre që ne nuk e shofim. And if their behavior is good, they're likely to be feeling deeply good inside. Pra, në qofse femi e uh, silet mirë, kjo do thot a i brenda thelsisht ndihet mirë. But if their behavior is troubling in any way, if they're struggling to manage their behavior, they probably feel very distressed inside. Por nëse sielje tyre është shqetsuese, atëhere problematiket, atëhere uh, me shumë mundësi ata bjerë thel, thel brenda vetës uh, të shqetsuar, uh, në siklet, uh, e kam do një problem aty. So before we discipline a child, we have to understand what is happening in their life right now. Pra, për para se të uh, disiplinojme fëmijën, duhet të kuptojme se qarë po ndodhë brenda, për brenda tyre. Because if life is very difficult at home, if there is a lot of pain and sadness in their lives, it will be very hard for them to behave well. Sepse në qosë se uh, ka probleme në familje, uh, ka shumë, uh, shumë trishtim, uh, so if they're struggling with their behavior, what they need is someone to understand them and comfort them, not to add more to their distress. So there's something called the love cup principle. And if you imagine that a child is like a cup, if you pour affection, kind words, positive support into that cup, then what you pour out of that cup will also be good and positive. So when we take care of what we call their relational needs, then they tend to be happier and behave better. Because their cup is full of positive emotions and healthy relationships. Another principle is called the string principle. And if you try to move string, if you lay a piece of string on a table and try to push it, does oh. it go where you want? 
Nečo se ke ne ni cop pije na tavolin. Edhe si do ta levizni ata në mirë. If you try and push the string, it tends to go all over the place. Se nečo se propicni ta shtyni fien, ajo do ta shkoj si shti që do be. But if you pull the string and lead it as if you were pulling this heart on a string, it would go in a straight line. Por në qofse do të tërhiqni, ajo do të shkoj aty ku po e u të hiqni. So when we lead well and we're a good example, we help them to follow well as well. Por ne u të heqi mirë, jemi shembuli mirë, atëherë dhe të mirë do të në djekin. So here is an interesting diagram. Ja, kjo diagram është shumë, shumë interesante. And we see that on the left it says distant and on the right it says warm and close. Shikoni, ja, ne të majten, shkruar i distancuar, ne të djaftën i ngrovë dhe japërt. And at the top there is structured and at the bottom there is unstructured on the central line. Dhe lartë e kemi në mesë shkruar i strukturuar edhe posht i pa strukturuar. And we now know that if we have a very structured but distant relationship, pra, në qose kemi mardhenje, i strukturuar, por distancuar. This is where I command you what to do and I'm not that caring for you. Pra, kjo të ingullon si unë të urdheroj, do bësh atë që a the mund, sepse këshu të ashun, por nuk me intereson shumë si jeti. Then we tend to create children who feel angry and lonely. Pra në këtë mardhenje autoritare, ne e bëjme fëmije që të ndjenë të zemruar dhe të vetmuar. When children know that they're cared for, they're much more likely to follow our instructions. Kur fëmijet ndjenë që janë të përkujdesë o pra që ne interesojme se si janë ta Atëhere, ata janë më shumë interesuar, ata janë më të më të gatshëm për të nabizhuar për të bindur. And if the relationship is distant and unstructured, children feel very sad and lonely and neglected. Kurse në qose mardhenja është e pa strukturuar dhe e distancuar, pra nuk është groft, ata dijen të trishtuar dhe të vetmuar. Because they feel the adult doesn't care about them enough to help them manage their lives. Sepse ata dijen që i rriturin e jetën e tyre, pra nuk është interesuar, nuk i bëhe farë vonë qa po ndodhë me ata edhe nuk e dirmojnë a fëmijeve pra. And in the bottom right corner we have tolerant parents, permissive parents. Pas taj kemi edhe përbal përbal saj So here the children feel loved, but they don't have much structure to guide their behavior. Këtu është karakteristika që fëmija dien të dashur, dien dashurin e prindrore, por nuk e dien të struktur në jetën e tyre. And when children feel cared for, but not given any instructions how to behave, they actually feel confused and unsafe. Dhe kur femija dien dashuri, por nuk e ndien u dëzime se si duhet silen, si duhet silen, atëhere ata ndien të kukuar dhe të pasibur. Children flourish best in relationships 
in the classroom and in home? For me, it was on a mushroom and in the class for school is the pre. When they feel cared for and there are some good rules. Kur ne marzaniet me të rriturit ata ndien që e kanë vëmën, ka interesin e të rriturit, po ka edhe pra, ka edhe regula. And the more they feel loved by us, the happier they are to please us by obeying. Edhe sa me shumë dashuria të ambjen prej nesh, aqë me të gatshëm dhe aqë me shumë qef kanë për të për të në dhëna të këna qësi duke në bindur në e me. So we can help the children around us behave better by how we respond to them and relate to them. Pra në në mund të bëhe me fëmijet që të ndihen më mirë duke duke plëtsuar ato nevojt e tyre për dashuri dhe për struktur. So what about physical punishment? Let's last impact for the skin physique. Because when I was a child, I still remember children being hit at school. Se kun isha vogël, kun ba e mën që dhe shkollën time me susit godisni në fëmijet. So what's wrong with this? Shfar problem ka kjo? Well, when we physically punish children, it creates fear. Fikse pari, kur ne dhe shkojme fëmijet fizikisht, kjo kryon fikën. And when we create fear, that is that is not love and care. Dhe kur kryohet frika, aty largohet dashurie. And when children are afraid, they cannot learn, they cannot flourish, and they hurt. When the kur femijet janë të priksuar, ata nuk janë të aftë, asë për të mesuar, asë se është djenë lënduar dhe nuk mund të lëzojnë. And what happens is that when we hit children, when they do something wrong, we teach them that it's okay for them to hit people. Dhe kur ne godasim me femijet atëherë ne mesojme që është në regu të që ata të godasim të tjerë. And they learn to hit people who don't do what they want them to. Edhe në jetën e tyra ta fivojnë të godasin njerëzit të cilët nuk bëjnë ata qëfar du në ta. And that sets a pattern in their life for future violence and abusing others. Edhe kjo kryon mardhenja të dunshme në të ardhme. And physical punishment builds anger and resentment in a child's heart. Gjithashtu, dëshkimi fizik rritë zemërimin, pakë në qësin dhe rebelimin në zemër në fëmijës. And they start to feel rebellious. Dhe ata ndihen të filojnë të dihen rebel. And it's much harder for them to behave well when they have resentment and rebellion in their hearts. Edhe kur ka këtë pa kënë që sinë këtë si tip dëshirë për hakmarje dhe rebelim në zemën e tyre, është e vështirë për ata të silen mirë. When we try to get children to obey by hurting them, dhe kur ne përpichemi të arime që fëmijet të binden duke dëshkur ata fizikisht, it doesn't do it. It doesn't teach them good things to do or self-control. Ata nuk mesojnë as sile pozitive, as vetë kontrole. It doesn't change their behavior positively. Edhe kjo nuk e ndryshon sile në tyre për më mirë. In fact, because we have hurt them, we make it much harder for them to behave well. Sepse kur ata janë lënduar, atëhere ata kanë akum më vështirë për të për të silur mirë. And when people who are supposed to care for them and teach them and love them hurt them in this way, dhe kur njerëzit të rriturit, pra të cilët janë për të dashuruar, për të 
udhezuar për të kujdesur për ata, por në vend e kësaj ata e lëndojnë fëmijë. It can really distort a child's picture of what a healthy relationship is with people, with God, with everyone else. Pra, dhe kur atëhere kjo e deformohen pamjen, shtërëmbron pamjen që e femije ka për mardhënje të shëndesh me me njerëzit dhe me zotin dhe me këdo. Now, I know as a mother, it's quite challenging to work out best ways to discipline children. Unë si nëna, unë jam mesuar që vërtet shumë vështirë për të gjetur me njërën e durë për dëshkime. And my my um, sister-in-law in Denmark, she used a naughty chair. Kunata ime në Danemark përdor të karigën e dënimit. And so when her children were naughty or misbehaved, they had to sit on the naughty chair. Pra, kur fëmijët e saj kishin bërë gabime, ajo bëndë urdhëron që ata të ullëshin të një kariget veçant, pra kariget dë njëmi. And it gave them time to calm their emotions and think about what they had done. Edhe kjo është me qëllim që ata të ullëshin aty edhe qëndronin qëtë edhe duke u qëtësuar vetën edhe duke menduar se qëfar kam bërë. And it seemed to work well with her two boys. Edhe kjo funksionon të shumë mirë me dy djemë të saj. I had a little girl. Unë kishë një vajzë të vogër. And I thought, well, let's just see if this works. Dhe unë thashtë So I would tell her to sit on the chair. And calm down. And think about what she had done and what she needed to do differently. And she was like, I'm a princess on a throne. Oh, when you're a princess on the throne. Didn't work very well. And then we had some important visitors, my husband's boss. Edhe një herë, kishin fëtuar për drekë pra shefin e burit tim. And unfortunately, we had to use the naughty chair at the dining table. Edhe, fat keqësisht, na mungon të një karige, kështu ne përdorim këtë karige e dënimit. And my husband's boss happened to sit on this chair. Edhe ndodhe që pikërisht shefi buritim ullë të kjo karige. And my four-year-old daughter was like, oh, no. Edhe vajza ime katër vjeqare, hapi sytë të më dha, o, bo, bo. What have you done to upset my mommy? Qfar ke bërë, edhe ajo pyëti, qfar ke bërë ti që e mërzite mamin tim? I hope you're thinking about what you did that was naughty. <laughs> okay, so we gave up on that one. And then I read something else in a, in a book. A top child psychologist. Psikologu me i pamshmi në asaj kohë. And he said, I know exactly what to do when your children fight. A i tha, unë e di shumë mirë qëfar të bëj kërë fëmijet të tu zihen me njëri tjetën. So, we had had a very long day. Ne kishim me një ditë, kishim patur një ditë shumë të gjatë. We got home tired. Erdhëm në shtepi shumë të lodhë. It was about two hours after the time children would normally have eaten. Ishte dy orë pas vaktit normal që duhet kishin në grënë. 
And it's very hard for children to behave well when they're tired and hungry. Pra ju e dini që është shumë e vështirë për fëmijët a silën mirë, kur janë të lodur dhe të uhitur. And I should have realized that. Unë duhet kisha kuptuar këtë. But I thought, here is the best time to try out this advice I've read. Dhe, por unë mendova, o, të një është rasti për të provuar këtë teknik që sa psikologu. When your children are arguing, put them in the garden and let them back in when they are friends again. Pra, a i thoshtë, dzirë një femijet në kopsht, në oborë prap, edhe kur ata prap janë miqë, atë herë e lere që të vinë në shtetu. Well, maybe my children were a bit young. Doshtë të femijet e mi ishin pak të vegji. Or a bit tired and hungry. Ose te për uritur dhe te për të lodhur. But there was a knock on my door almost straight away. Por shumë shpejt e mora një prokitje të dera ime. And it was my daughter, the eldest one. Edhe ishte vajza ime me rritur. She was about six or seven. Ajo ishte gjasht vjeqe ose së shta. Mami, mami, Nathan has run away. Mami, mami, Nathan ka larguar nga shtepia. Oh, no. Oh, bo, bo. I have a baby. Outside it's cold and dark. And I also have to take a baby with me to go and look for my son. Ishte tash me po ersohe. Edhe kisha edhe një beb pra poshin që duhet të merja me vete për të përkuar ku është djalin. So I have to take, knock up the house, take two children with me and go and look for my son. Pra, me duhet të merja me vete bebin dhe dy femi për të iku për të përkurë ku është djalin. Because our garden had a very low fence that children could climb over. Sepse, obori unë, opshti unë, kishte një gardë i cili ishte jo shumë i lartë, pra fëmijet ishin të aftë për të ka për të syre. Obviously, the person who wrote the book had a big offense. Beso që a i autori i librit që bëri këtë këshil, a i kishte një gardë me të gjë, me të lartë. So I was very worried where my son had got to. Edhe unë ishë shumë shqetsuar se ku kishte i kur djalim. But fortunately, we found him very quickly hiding in a bush. Por sa mirë, për fatë të mirë, ne gjetam shumë shpejt duke duke shehur në një shkure. Because he had his best clothes on and he felt silly. Sepse a i kishte veshur me kostum, me gjërë, me të bukura robët e shu, me të bukura edhe kishte turp që njerëz mund të shohin atë. He said, Mommy, I was afraid my friends would see me looking like this. Kisha frik, sa mamin kisha frik që miqte mi mund të më shikojnë mua në këto roba. Well, I'm glad he was wearing his best clothes because it was easier to find him. Pra, u isha shume lehtesuar, shume lutur që e kisha veshur djarën me kostumë se e gjeta me kollaj. But we didn't try that one again. Por nuk e kam provuar këtë teknik me kur. So you can see, even if you're a child psychologist, you can make major mistakes. Pra, më gjithon, në qosë madje një psikolog mu të bëj gabime. So, children's behavior equals communication. Pra, sielje e femijës është si një komunikim. And we need to think, what is the child trying to tell us with their behavior? Pra, duhet me ndojme se qëfar femijë dëshiron të në trevoj me antë e kësaj sielje. That day when my little son ran away, His behavior, the fighting with his sister was about not having their needs met. Pra, atë dit, kur djalim u lërgua në shtepia, pra, si e leti, ajo zënka me motran, kjo ishte për shkak që 
nevojat e ti nuk ishin të plotësuar. They were tired and they were hungry and that was my fault. Ata ishin të uritur dhe të lodhur edhe ishte pa im. I should have taken more food with me and got them home earlier. Unë duhet kisha marë sa ushqime vete, duhet, ose duhet kisha siel në shtëpi me heret. So we need to stop and think, what is their behavior trying to tell us right now? Maybe they need something. Maybe they feel overwhelmed by what's happening around them. And they need to go somewhere quieter. A lot of children are experiencing this at the moment. Probably partly because they have been locked down for a while and things have been quieter for them. Brenda edhe nuk kanë qenë shumë për jashta edhe kanë patur një jetë me të qetë. A lot of children now are getting overwhelmed by sensory um, input. Pra edhe shumë fëmijet ndjenë bigarkesh qësore. Maybe they're saying they're confused. I don't know what's going on here. No one's explained it to me. Ose nga një hefe mi është kuptuar, thotë unë nuk po kuptoj se qar po ndodhë dhe një askush nuk me shpjegon. O dhe saying change something, I don't like this, what's happening? Ose ata komunikojnë që undu të lute më dushoje, ajo qar po ndodhë nuk me pëlqen. Sometimes they're saying to us, look, you're the grown up, you're the one who should be taking care of me, <laughs> I'm the child. Mm. Do një herë fëmijë si është dëshëron të në përcjell që ti e rrituri, unë jam fëmi, pra ti duhet të më kujdesesh për mua. So think first, is this child, um, does the child have a physical need that needs to be met? Mm, pra reflektoni pikse pari, uh, gjë kryesore janë nevojët uh, fizike që duhet për të mua. I know it's harder for me to behave nice when I'm feeling really hungry. Unë e di nga vetja, kur unë kam uri, e shte vështirë për mua të silem mirë dhe e me dashur. If they're thirsty, they can feel grumpy as well. Femijet mund të ndien me nervë, pra ma dje kur i ka eti. And if they're tired or unwell, it's really hard for them to manage their behavior. Ose ndër qo se ndijen të lodër, ose se murë prapë, është të vështirë të kënë cilin në kontrol. I'm going to show you a little video now of what happens when a child feels alone. Të një duhet të ndaj me ju një video se qëra ndodhë kur femijë ndijet i vetë mua. You don't need to know much of the words. Nuk e nevoj të dini qëra për thuat aty. But this is some research done with a mother and a baby. And they, they, they interact really nicely. And then they tell the mother, look away, and when you look back, don't change your face. The... Ata thanë dënës që ata ta shikojnë diku tjetër dhe pas taj ta mos ndryshoj mimikën e kryturës. And you can see how quickly this child realizes there's something wrong and becomes distressed. Edhe do shikoni sa shpejt femija kupton se diçka nuk shkon, diçka nuk është mirë, diçka ka ndryshuar edhe a i fillon të shqetsohet. It's easy to see in, in a baby that just responds to what's happening very quickly. Uh, ne mund të ledzojme këtë shumë uh, qartë të poshnja i cili shpreh diçka që ndjen. But the same um, difficult emotions the baby has Por të gjitha këto emocionet e ndërlikuare që ndjen të fëmijë, foshnja, 
They happen inside children, teenagers, and even us as adults. When we feel that someone we love or trust isn't there for us right now, isn't available to us. But you'll see, because this baby has a good relationship with the mother, when the mother turns back to them and interacts, they soon calm down. But if a child experiences this regularly in a, in a relationship with an adult, it really disturbs them inside. Or, uh, so let's hope this works. Babies this young are extremely responsive to the emotions and the reactivity and the social interaction that they get from the world around them. This is something that we started studying oh, 30, 40 years ago when people didn't think that infants could engage in social interaction. In the still face experiment, what the mother did was she sits down and she's playing with her baby who's about a year of age. I'm like Farah. Oh. And she gives a greeting to the baby, the baby gives a greeting back to her. Yeah. This baby starts pointing at different places in the world, and the mother's trying to engage her and play with her. They're working to coordinate their emotions and their intentions, what they want to do in the world. And that's really what the baby is used to. And then we ask the mother to not respond to the baby. The baby very quickly picks up on this, and then she uses all of her abilities to try and get the mother back. She smiles at the mother. She points because she's used to the mother looking where she points. Yeah. The baby puts both hands up in front of her and says, what's happening here? She makes that screechy sound at the mother, like, come on, why aren't we doing this? Even in this two minutes when they don't get the normal reaction, they react with negative emotions, they turn away, they feel the stress of it, they actually may lose control of their posture because of the stress that they're experiencing. So you can see how quickly a child can become distressed when an adult that they care for um, doesn't respond to them or responds negatively. Pra ju e pat se sa shpejt për mija shqetsohet kur nuk e merë vë mendjen e nevojshme dhe kur nevojet e tyre nuk janë and if that happens a lot, that child will become quite distressed inside. And they may start to feel unloved and very stressed by the situation. 
Pra ata nuk do t'dien që janë të dashur dhe do jenë do kenë stres të ma. And when children feel very alone, it's really difficult for them. Dhe kur femija djet i vetmuar, si braktiso paka shumë, kjo, kjo është, është shumë e vështje për ata. The world feels very unsafe and they feel very sad. And we now know that loneliness is as bad for adults as if they smoked 15 cigarettes a day. But it's much harder for children who don't have the um, skills of an adult to reach out to others. Pra, edhe është akom me vështirë për femijet, pasi ata janë të varu nga të riturit dhe nuk din se si ta regulojnë në gjërë. So children have, we all have what we call relational needs. Pra, femijet ka nevoj, ka nevoj relacionale, pra, nevoja për mardhenje të shëndechme. And there are different aspects of loving relationships that help us to do well and flourish. Uh, one more time. A different aspects of healthy relationships. Pra, ka aspekte të ndryshme uh, e mardhenje të shëndechme. So children need acceptance when they made a mistake. Femijet ka nevoj për pranimin uh, të uaj kur ata kan bërë do një gabim. They need to know they haven't broken the relationship with us forever. Ata duhet të din se uh, edhe pse jeni mërzitur me ata, mardhenje juaj uh, nuk është prishur për, për gjithmonë. And if we don't accept them when they made a mis- mistake and mend the relationship quickly, they can feel very frightened. Dhe në qofse ne nuk përbëjme diqka që ta uh, të rebojme se mardhenje juaj, mardhenje jon, dashuria jon, uh, nuk është uh, thyja, nuk është prishur për gjithmonë, ata do të dien shumë shumë të friksuar. So a child breaks a glass. Pra, të zeme një uh, femija e Uh, Completely accidentally, they're, they're too young to really manage a glass. And an accepting adult will say, that's an accident, uh, let me clear it up for you. Because as adults, we need to manage things like that around children so that they don't break things. Uh, because um, they, they can't manage it themselves. So, but if we blame them and are angry with them, then that's quite distressing for them. And we might actually be treating them as if the glass is more important than their feelings. Children also need affection and, and kindness and feeling warm in the relationship. Pra, fëmijët ka nevoj të, të djen afikcion, grotësin, dashuris në, në, në mardhenje. That we all need these things, but when children have them, they are more likely to behave better. Mm-hmm. Ne gjithë kemi nevoj për këto gjërë, dhe kur fëmijët e djen e kanë këto uh, në, në mardhenje, ata janë më të prirë për të sigo mirë. They need our appreciation when they've done something well. That encourages them. Ata ka nevoj për vlerësimin në ton pozitiv uh, kur ata ka në bërë diçka të veçan, diçka të mirë. 
they need to know that we value them and cherish them and that, and that they are special to us. They often need our focused attention, but we're often too busy to give it to them. When we give them positive attention when they're doing things well, it really helps them behave well. Because many children will do, quote, naughty things just because they crave our attention. When a child is sad or distressed or hurt or sick, they need our comfort. For me, it's a when we comfort them, it helps their brains to learn how to calm down on their own. They need our encouragement, our Tapping to help them do things well, to let them know they've done things well. And they also need our respect. We need to talk to them respectfully um, as if they were adults and not shame them. And respecting them is so important. Respect is so, so decision. And because it gives them dignity as human beings. I actually had a teacher that shamed me terribly in my first class at school. And I didn't realize it, but I struggled with that shame for about 40 years. Until I finally realized where it had come from. Our children need help from us and support as they learn about how to do things well. Or when they're struggling and stressed. They also need us to help them feel safe. Because when the adults who care for them make them feel afraid, it's very difficult for them. And all these different things I have shared help children to behave better. And I have found that when we meet these special needs in children, their behavior often is good all by itself. Like we don't have to do much else. And 
shumë lekt ta menagjor shumë mien edhe sielja tyre është normalisht shumë mien. Because when we do these things, they have a healthy sense of who they are and they feel loved and safe. Sepse kur ne bëjmë gjithë ato gjëra atëherë e fëmijët, e kanë dhe të sensin se kush janë ata edhe ndijen të dashu dhe të sigur. And I can honestly say when we tried this with our children, we hardly ever had to discipline them. Dhe kur ne kemi bërë gjithka për eksaj për fëmijët tanë, ne praktikisht s'kishim fare në bojë të disiplinojme ata. We need to put ourselves in their shoes and do to them as we would want someone to do to us. Treat them as we would want to be treated as children. Pra, ne duhet vishim këpucet e fëmijës, të imaginojmë pra vetën në situatën e fëmijës, dhe duhet të bëjmë e fëmijës atë që farë duhet të kishim dëshiruar që dikush në bëjmë të ne ku ishim fëmijë. And as we do things, these things for them, they also learn what makes a good, healthy relationship. Dhe gjithashtu në me këto, duke bërë gjitha këto, ne të regojme me sojme për mje se që si duke një mardhenje të shëndechme. When children are afraid of punishment, they don't learn very well. Kur për mje të janë priksuar dhe dëshkimi, ata nuk me sojnë e mje. We also have to ask, is the child developmentally mature enough to do what I'm asking them to do? Duhet të pyrës një vetët. A është ja fëmija të bëja të qëfar u kërkoj për e të? I see some parents and teachers tell children off the things that children that age can't even do. Unë kam parë kur prindrit ose mesusit të bërtasën e fëmijës, Për shkak se ata nuk kanë bërë gjëra, që ata në fakt nuk janë, fëmijet nuk janë dhe aftë për të bërë. Like, a small children will naturally knock things off the table, they're more clumsy. Pra, për shumë, fëmijet e vejgjën janë me të ngathet edhe naturalisht ata janë me prirë për ta, për ta, hedhur në diqka nga të vodina aksidentlisht. So if children are struggling to learn, we need to think how we adapt, not expect them to adapt to us. Pra, ne jemi ata që duhet të përshtatemi ndaj fëmijës, jo që të presim që fëmijët të përshtatin ndaj nesh. I would often ask children, my children, to tell me what I had told them to do. Shpesh herë kam kërkuar për mjetë e mi që ata të rritë regojnë me fjallët e tyre se ato uzëzimet që i kam thënë. Because sometimes we don't check what they have heard us say and it might be different to what we think we said. Sepse nga një herë për mjetë e ka kuptuar dryshe se që qarë kemi thënë. So if they don't understand us, they're not being naughty, they're just not understanding what we're telling them to do. Pra, dhe qëse ata ka keqë kuptuar, fjallë e tona, atëhere, kjo nuk është mos bindje, si është një keqë kuptim. And if you have young children, they can often only manage one command at a time. Edhe, bani men që fëmijet e vejgjën, ata mund të jenë të aftë për të mbajtur men vetëm një urzër, një urzëzim në të njëtën kohë. So don't tell them to do three things, because they won't remember all of them. Pra, mos kërkoni fëmijës vejgjës, fëmijës e vogël që ta bëj tre gjëra, sepse ata do të bëjmë mendve të një. I had a problem with my children because of one word in English. Kisha probleme fëmijën, fëmijët e mi për shkak të një fjallës në anglisht. And I realized this through a funny story. Edhe e kuptova këta nga një eksperiencë për qeshur. Because we have one word, watch. We have, pra, ne kemi një fjallë, shiko. And it means looking at something like watching television. Êshtë si në rastin kër shikoj televizor. But it also means look after somebody. 
dhe tjetër është që ta shikosh duke pra kujdesesh për dikë. So one day I told my, my four-year-old son to watch his baby brother for a few minutes. Edhe një herë unë kërpova djallit tim katër vjeqar, që a i të shikoj një qikë vlaj në vogël, baby. While I was making the dinner. Dersa unë gatoja darpën. I came to check on them after about five or six minutes. Pas 5-6 minuta e erdhe për të parë, se si po e cinë të të. And the baby had got a big plant. The baby kishtë të marrë një bime. And tipped it over. E ba pra kishtë të vazon me bime në kishtë të rezuar. And pull the plant out of the plant pot. E kishtë e nëzirë lullen për jashtë. Dragging soil across the carpet. E dhe kishtë e nëzirë, pra kishtë bërë gjithë tapetin pisë me dhe. And then the baby was sitting, holding the plant and eating it. Dhe unë e gjetë a baby në duke kafshuar e të bimën. So I took this all in. Kur e pash gjitha këtë rëmuj. And it occurred to me what I had told Nathan to do. Dhe atëhere e kujtove se qare kishë e than djali ti. And I had told him. Shikoje baby. I had told him watch your baby brother. Shikoje vlajnë e vogën. So I stayed calm and I just said to Nathan tell me what happened. Pra e mora frymë që këtësova dhe E pyre të se, qëfar do dhi? And he said, well, mami, I did what you said, I was watching him. He was really funny. Edhe djali i me përgjigje, mami e bëra ashtu si që të ti, unë shikova vlajën tim dhe ishte shumë galat. So after that, I realized, check the child has the same understanding that I have about the command. Dhe kjo ishte dit kur me sova se duhet të kërkoj femijes a e kupton të ashtu si qëta shumë apo ndryshe. Some other good things are give them special attention when they're doing something well. Një tjetër gjë e shumë mirë është të kapim femije duke bërë diqka pozitive, jo vetëm të gjërë negative. Because if we just give them attention when they're doing something wrong, We will reinforce them doing something wrong. Sepse i dhe qo se do kushtonë vëmendjen vetëm kur ata si lënkeqë, atëhere ata do të jenë me shumë i kura juar të si lënkeqë. It's much more effective to reinforce positive behavior than to manage the negative behavior. Êshtë me lehtë dhe me efikas që ta In ku rejojme pra sielje pozitive, se sa ta luftojme kunder sieljes negative. The suggestion is to keep your rules as simple as possible. Një sugjerim të mire është që ta mbani regullat sa më thje është ashtë më mire. And it's best to word them as positive what you want, not negative what you don't want. Edhe është më mirë që ta përkufizoni këto regula në mënyrë pozitive, jo negative, jo me mos, por bëje ashtu si që duhet. So it's better to say keep yourself safe rather than don't hurt yourself. është më mirë të thua është mbaj vetën sigur se sa thua është mos e lendo vetën. Because when I say this is what to do, it's clear what they have to do. When I say do this, it's clear, do this. Sepse kur japim udhëzime pozitive, ato janë me të qartë. But if I say don't do this, por kur them mos e bëjkëte, there are many, many things you could do instead, and it's not clear what they need to do. Ka shumë gjërët e tjera, there are more things, If I say don't do this, 
And there's a thousand things they could do. If I say do this, uh -huh. it's clear. Sometimes we have children who are overloaded um, with too much sound and light. And sometimes this can happen in a classroom as well. They get over. And they need to go somewhere quiet to help them manage well. Some children will have like a tantrum because they are so overwhelmed, but they're not being naughty. They just can't manage things anymore. So if a child is having that experience, we need to provide a quiet um, place for them to work. So we live in a complex world that can really overload children's senses, so it's good to keep things simple. Make it easy for them to tidy things up. Limit their choices so they're not overwhelmed by choices. Don't rush them from one thing to another. And if I was to parent all over again, my children would only have 10 toys at a time. And the others would be put in the attic or away. And every week they could choose a different 10. Because they play better when their choices are limited. And it's easy for them to tidy their room. So, the important thing is to help them set clear boundaries. So, you set a boundary and you explain what it is and why it's important. So, if I take my youngest son to my oldest son's football practice, I will show him the line on the ground. And I will take I will say the football game happens on the other side of this line. It's there to keep the game safe and you safe. 
kjo është kjo objekt tu është në mënyrë që ta për të mbajtur ty në siguri edhe gjithë dhëtarët e lojës e futbolit në siguri. I'm able to stay a long way from this line. Dhe ne do të qëndronim largë kësa vijen. And we will go and play with your ball a long way away from this line so we don't get into the football game. Uh, and uh, you'll stay... Uh, we will stay a long way away from the line. Mm -hmm. We'll play somewhere else so we don't get mixed uh -huh. up in the game. And when he's playing away from that line, I say, that's good, Joel. Well done. We're staying away from the line. But my son, Joel, being Joel, will want to know how important is this rule. Or Joel is he... Si fëmijët e tjera do që ta mesoj se sa e rëndësishme është kjo dhije. And he'll get closer and closer to that line. Dhe kështu që a i do të aprojë me shumë e me shumë kësa dhije. And he'll look at me with a cheeky smile. Edhe do të shikon të, ha i shikon të mua me bus qeshje. So, what will mami do if I get near the line? Po, qa do bëjë mami në qose unë aprojëm kësa dhije? So I say, Joel, remember that line. Why is it there? Tell me. And let's stay this side. So you don't get hurt. Let's go and play over here again. Because if you cross that line, I won't be able to bring you here anymore. Because it's not safe for you and it's not safe for the people playing the game. And we'll need to do some more practice about keeping away from that line before we can come back and see Nathan. The most important time to discipline a child is when they've intentionally crossed your boundary. Koha me rëndësishëm për të disiplinuar një fëmi është kura i ose ajo ka kaluar kufirin që limisht dhe me gjendrim rebele. They may sometimes break the boundary by accident. Nga një herë fëmijet e kalojnë kufirin për shkakt e do një aksident. But when they've done something you told them not to and there's been a consequence, that's when you need to deal with it. Por në qofse, keni bërë të qartë kufirin, edhe ata prape kanë thyë këtë regu në mënyrë rebele, atëhere duhet të bëni do një gjë, duhet të reagoni të reksaj. And when they've done something like played with the ball and smashed a window when you told them not to, dhe kur ata për shembu dhe kanë thyër një gjamë me top, kur ju keni të reguar regula që nuk duhet të lozin me top apër gjamit. I know that I can feel really angry. Unë e di, unë ka përjetuar këte kam qënë shumë e zemëruar. And when I'm feeling like that, that's not a good time for me to discipline my child well, or any child. Unë e di, po gjithashtu unë e di, kur unë jam vetë bigarkuar me emocione, jam e zemëruar, Atëhere, kjo nuk është kjo nuk është qafti duhur që ta disiplinoj të mjën. And I know I need to take some deep breaths and I need to pray. Pra, unë e di që atëhere, unë duhet të marca frim të thela dhe lutem zotin që të me jap pache. 
And I need, I need to ask God to give me some wisdom to deal with this child's behavior. Uh, the so I need to calm down myself and then make sure that we can talk in a private place. And then the best thing to do is not say, why did you do that? Because they often have no clue why they did it and they will just lie and make something up. But when we say what happened, they can just tell us step by step what happened. And it's important to connect with them before we try to correct them. So build the relationship before we try to discipline them and talk about what went wrong. And help them to calm down because they can't think clearly if they're still really distressed and angry. Or maybe they're sad or afraid. So help them deal with their big emotions first. An important principle is that if we try and set rules, but we don't have a relationship with them, we will just cause rebellion. We need to check they understand which boundary was broken and how. They need to understand why it was important. Uh, and, the and then they need to know very quickly that we are we care for them. Mm -hmm. And we could say yes, I'm really sad that this happened. And nothing that you do will ever stop me loving you. And let's see what we can do together to put it right. So it's very effective for them to put things right when they've made a, made a problem. Because when they help to fix it, even in a small way, they understand the value of things. And putting things right helps them to restore their sense of respect as well. They might help to pay towards the damage or do something kind for someone they've hurt. It's important that the, the discipline uses something called logical consequences. 
është rëndësishme që disiplina për ban pasojet logike. And this means that the, the response to what they did matches, makes sense um, to for what happened. So if they take a cookie before lunch, they don't get a cookie afterwards. Pra, uh, pasojet logike janë uh, si për shembu që në qofë se femija e ka marë biskotën, uh, ka ngrënë biskotën para drekës, atëhere pas drekës, uh, nuk e marë biskotën si uh, mbësirë. If they break something, then they, they help to pay for it. If they stay out too late, they don't get to stay out the next time. Because this is how life works. If you drive too fast, you will have your license taken away. If you break something serious, you will go to jail or have to pay fine. If you turn up late to work, you might not have a job one day. So because life um, teaches us with logical consequences, it's good that we use that with children too. Another thing that people talk about is giving children time out if they've done something wrong. It's actually more healthy to give children time in and connection with you because that's often what they're needing. If we send them to their room and they're all on their own, it actually can be extremely distressing. My husband remembers being sent to his room when he was about nine. And it was just for a couple of hours. But for him, it was the most devastating and painful moment in his childhood. When children behave badly, it's a way that they're saying, please help me connect with me, I need you. Okay, I'm missing that slide. Mm -hmm. So, other ideas are be aware of what is happening in a child's life and why they might be behaving a difficult way. I had teachers come to me um, saying, I don't know what to do about this child's behavior. He's just so distressing in class. It's so difficult. And I said, well, find out what's happening at home. What might be happening at home that could cause this? And 
And when the teacher asked about what was happening at home, the father had abandoned the family a few months earlier. No one knew where the father was. The mother was having to work really hard to make ends meet. And this 10-year-old boy had three tiny sisters. He was the only man in the house now. And he had no idea how to make sense of everything that had happened to him. When the teacher talked to him about it and listened to his story, she was filled with compassion. And she took time to care for him a bit more. She gave him some special responsibilities in the class. And let him know that if he was really sad, he could come and talk to her. And a month later, when I saw her, she said, this child is amazing. His behavior has completely changed. It's also really helpful to um, train parents to know how to help their children because many parents are not really quite sure what to do. And so we call these helping your child be the best they can be because then parents want their child to be the best they can be. The titulonic to seminare sit and the money for me and two at yet may near it. So, as a psychologist, as a as a parent myself, these are some of the the best tips I've learned. Pra kto ishin kashila mete mira che muti ofroi si prindi le si psikologe. You can also use a reset button and help children start again when their behavior is difficult to make a new start. Uh, I often just need time to start all over again and do it differently. And maybe you know a child in your class or in your family who's difficult, finds it difficult to manage their behavior at times. And maybe you can wonder why they find it so hard, what's going on in their life. Which of those relational needs, those ways to care for that child, are they missing in their life somehow? And what have you learned today that might help you to help that child better? And what about your ideas? I'm sure you all have your own special ways of dealing with children's behavior. Besides the you can idea to why 
dhe edhe ju mund të jep një këshilla se qar funksionon për ju, qa keni bër ju për të për të menagjuar fëmijet e krasë. And maybe you could share them with us when we finish this um, presentation just now. Edhe tani kur do mbarojme këtë prezentim, do shtë mund të ndani me ne. And if you can speak English, um, I wrote some of the website handsonscotland.co.uk. Edhe në qose din e anglisht, ja, kjo kjo linku qënë të një faqë që ka të shillot e mira. And a bunch of psychologists got together and wrote this website to help children with their troubling behavior. Edhe aty një grup psikologës që ka në shkruar artikujt për dihmuar fëmijet se si ta menagjojnë sjelin e tyre. You can find lots of different topics in alphabetical order and find some help. Aty ka shumë artikujt me të renditura në mënyra alfabetike dhe aty mund të gjeni loj loj për lojloj situata dhe dhe problemi.